Good morning. It's Tiffy Styles Travel Thursdays. And I'm back at you with a new hotel review video. So guys, it is 6.55 in the morning. Your girl's tired, as you can see my eyes red. But I'm gonna do this review for you guys. So I am at La Cabana Resort, okay? So um, I'm gonna just start off with the entrance and let's just get into the video. Okay, ladies and gents, this is the entrance of the resort right here. And as you can see at the entrance, they have a parking section. So if you do rent a car, you can park your car right here. Okay. Before you come to the resort, you can book a shuttle bus. And I'm gonna put the link of where I got the shuttle bus. It's $40 round trip. Right here is the check-in, check-out section. You check in at 4 p.m. and you check out at 10 a.m. The process was very, very smooth. you want to contact them beforehand here is their information we have Cinnabon there are four restaurants at this resort okay and then here is the casino um, I just wanted to show you guys so this is what the casino would look like So here we have a store that uh, you can go to to get beach gear. You can also buy gifts if you like. Here is a aloe store. It seems like they're really promoting this store. Um, this store right here is closed down. I don't know. I don't know what it was before. And here is the telephone, ATM, and restrooms in this area. The ATM was out of service, and the bathrooms were pretty decent. You can come here to book activities. Just so you can see some of the activities that they offer, snorkeling, the Catalina, um, sailing during the sunset. You can also book a COVID test to go back to your country. It's the easiest process and the room to get the COVID test is upstairs and I'll show you guys that eventually. Morning. Yes, we are still in the lobby, ladies and gents. I told you I'm going to give you a full review, but we are going to head upstairs right now. Cabana members lounge, the boardroom, the conference room, executive office, and internet lounge. And then you have a lot more room to relax. By the way, in the boardroom, here is the COVID test center. COVID, you will notice that only two to four people are allowed in the elevator at a time. Next to the concierge is where you would exit. I always love that they have information for you to show you where to go. It says guest suites from 101 to 124, you go to the left, and then guest suites from 125 to 146, you go to the right. 
there are 400 apartment style rooms at this resort they either have the ocean view or they even or they either have the garden view Okay, so as you guys can see, these are some of the floor apartments down here. Going around and then, of course, it goes up. So they have activities like table tennis. And then over here, they have chess and checkers, which is pretty cool. So for uh, COVID, it says maximum two people at a time or one family at a time. Lots of chairs. So the slide is right here. You would come down. This is four feet. And at the other side is three feet. And you go around and it's five feet. They have a Sabaros at the pool side so when you are at the pool you get a little hungry you can order food here all right so the section that is five feet they have volleyball right now they are cleaning the pool they open at 9 a.m and they close at 10 p.m so they serve hot dogs fries pizza wings if you do not know, it's really good. Here is the towel section. When you come in, when, when you check in, they will give you a card that you can use to get a towel here. And the opening hours, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. for the towels. And then here it is, you get a blue towel, as you can see here. Another store where you can buy stuff for the beach they have beach hats they have cover-ups they have sunglasses they clearly have it all for the beach and then we have the spa which opens at 9 a.m to 6 p.m called the citral spa and salon there it is and i'm they're closed once again as you can see because it is seven o'clock right now the poolside bar which opens daily um, I don't drink but I do know that they have happy hour so you can take advantage of that if you do drink this is the Islander grill which opens daily for breakfast lunch and dinner So right here is the Las Ramblas restaurant, which is closed on Sunday. So my best friend and I weren't able to go to this restaurant, but I believe it opens in the evening and it, it's like a really nice romantic dining feel because you get to watch the sunset. So the exit is near the spa. I'm actually going to show you the beach before I show you the room. It only makes sense that way, to me at least. Here are all of the activities you can book on the beach itself and I'm going to show you exactly where. You can pause to see all of the activities. For those of you who do not know, this resort is actually located on one of the most beautiful beaches in Aruba called the Eagle Beach and it's a very popular beach on the island. And by the way, to book your excursions, there will be a guy standing right here by that boot, Jolly Pirates. You can head on over there and book your excursions. You see the water looks clear when you get closer, like way closer. 
By the way, there are many restaurants that are walking distance or you can take a cab to some of the restaurants, but they are on the beach. I do want to recommend this one specific amazing restaurant called Passions on the Beach. It is a bit romantic, but I still went there with my best friend. And do you rent chairs or you just use it? Is, is it free? You can just come down here mm -hmm. every day if you like. Mm -hmm. And then the guys with the orange t-shirts, mm -hmm. they're usually here and you just make the choice in the empty palapa like this. Mm -hmm. And then they gonna bring the chairs for you. Okay. <laughs> Morning. You can also get the bus right out here. You can also rent the bikes and scooters. Going back into the resort. main floor then you can exit your suite once again you cannot get lost at all there are signs that tell you exactly where to go you can get ice from this area grab a drink from the vending machine as well as do your laundry Here's my room. I'm gonna give you guys um, a tour of the bathroom last because my best friend's in the shower. Uh, so you use your fan to enter. Here is the phone. I really like how um, detailed it is. Emergency operator, concierge, bellman front desk, housekeeping, maintenance spa, activities, restaurant. Really, really convenient. All right, so here's the bed. Um, actually, we're checking out today, so it looks a little crazy. I asked them for this extra blanket because it was freezing in here, but the bed was super, super comfortable, okay? And here's the TV. There's a safe. I did not use the safe. And then open it from here so you guys can see. So they have hangers a broom and then here you can put if you want to put your clothes up. okay so this area we're about to head to is like three in one you got your kitchen got your living room and your dining room all in one but this kitchen was pretty neat um has everything that you would need so there were no complimentary drinks such as water or sodas or anything like that so um be sure to Oh, we actually bought that and put that in there. But be sure to go to the supermarket and um, stock up. If you're there for like a week or so, I highly recommend going to the supermarket to get groceries. Or if you want to eat out every day, that's your choice. But the supermarket is definitely convenient. But as you can see, everything is here.
to turn on the fan, you have to use this knob right here, and then you turn to the right. To turn off the fan, then you will turn it to the left. All right, my bestie's out the bathroom, so let's head on into the bathroom now. And here it is, nice mirrors in the bathroom. Everything's provided. Water pressure. Hand towel. Well, they do have washcloths. Extra toilet paper. You have bath gel, shampoo, and conditioner. And then water pressure. And that's that for the bathroom. Next to the bathroom. Guys, I just discovered this. I did not know this was here. Or else I would never ask for an extra blanket. You can't close the door to the bedroom which is nice because my best friend is actually playing music in there and you can't hear, right? So if you're out here and you wanna watch TV, but you have a friend or a family member that's sleeping, then that's actually very convenient. All right, let's head on outside to see the view. So um, not only do I have a view of the pool, but I also have a view of the ocean. Well, technically, this is the Ocean View Room. This is what you're given during check-in. All right, so here is a map of the Thai Resort. Here it is, they give you the details of the, the restaurants. And here are your towel cards. Check out card. And then they give you a, a $7 gift certificate at the Aruba Aloe store. This is just housekeeping information. I was literally only here for two nights, three days, two nights. It was such a quick last minute trip for my 30th birthday. We didn't receive the room that we wanted at first, but then when I went to the to the front desk to explain to them everything, um, he upgraded my room to give me the actual ocean view that I I wanted, and I am really thankful for that. The people here are really nice. Um, this is a very family friendly resort. The room is pretty decent. I do like that it is like an apartment style room. So if you want to cook, there's actually a grocery store across the street. Um, from the resort where you can go, you can buy your, your food, you can buy water because they they sell water at the resort, but it's like three dollars, so it makes more sense that if you're here for a longer period of time that you go to the supermarket and you, you buy water in bulk. So there is no nightlife here, there's no club if you're looking for that. You'd have to leave the resort and either go downtown or uh, there's this area that my friend and I went to, really, really, really nice strip, tons of restaurants, and if you're looking for clubs and, and things of that sort, then you can head on over there. You can take a bus there. The bus is $2.75. However, we were not able to take the bus because for such a short time. If you want to, you can also take a cab. The taxis are really convenient and not expensive. Uh, if you want a taxi, the front desk can call the taxi. Or normally there's a taxi right outside of the resort. As for food, the restaurants that we went to was decent. Uh, the grill was pretty decent. Uh, the breakfast was good. It's not a buffet style, of course. As you can see, um, it's not an all-inclusive resort, so you do have to pay for breakfast and, and lunch and dinner. Uh, but if when you book, you can pay $10 for daily breakfast. So be sure to check that out. I booked on hotel.com, but I'm sure they have the same information on the other booking sites, or you can book on the actual website. 
I recommend this resort. At first I was a little iffy, but honestly, it's really relaxing. It's, it's nice, it's chill, the people are so nice. And for the two nights that I was here, I, I must say that I, I slept really well and I felt super safe here. Aruba, as you know, is very safe anyways. So if you have any questions, any questions, I will answer them in my comment section. And um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope this video was helpful. If you are ever planning to stay in Mexico, I do have a review, a really good review on the review resort that I went to so be sure to check that out thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy your stay when you come here and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day all right goodbye